Early voting numbers are up in one Wabash Valley County. Bureau Chief Gary Bryan has more on what that means for tomorrow's election. Early voting came to an end at noon today here in Knox County. And if numbers are any indication, this vote means a lot to residents. 1,500 Knox County residents voted early this year. That's up from 1,100 in 2014. Well, I figured we was going to be busy because it started out the first day we had like 40 voters. And normally, the first day, sometimes we don't even have two or three. Even with the high early voting turnout, Knox County Clerk Terry Allen says they are prepared for Tuesday. We get our food ordered for tomorrow for in here. We get all of our equipment out and everybody's picking up stuff today. So I think we're going to run pretty smooth. Allen expects a high turnout for Tuesday. When going to vote, Allen advises to make a plan before heading out the door. They may have to wait a little bit. Um, if they come early, like usually 6 to 8, it's kind of busy because people go before work. And then in the evening, usually 4 to 6 is busy. So if they could go on their lunch hour or in between, uh, it might be easier for them. Now the big races here in Knox County are the Sessor's race and the Sheriff's race on the Republican ticket. And of course, you can find all those results right here on News 10. Back to you. In Vigo County, early voting lasted for almost a month. News 10's Kylie Stewart was there this morning where voting was taking place. She tells us.